All right. The court has heard and considered the following. The pre-sentence investigation prepared by the Lee County Probation Department, the evidence and victim impact statements presented on behalf of the state, the evidence presented on behalf of the defendant, the statutory factors in aggravation and mitigation, specifically factors in aggravation numbers one and three under 5 slash 5 dash 5 dash 3.2 and specifically the factors in mitigation numbers 7 and 16 under 5 slash 5 dash 5 dash 3.1 as well as any evidence presented by stipulation the matters upon which the court was asked to take judicial notice the defendant's statement of allocution and the oral arguments presented by both the state and the defense. After consideration of all of the above, the court orders that in count three of 2018 CF 103, the charge of aggravated discharge of a firearm regarding officer Mark Dallas, that conviction shall enter on said plea and the defendant is hereby sentenced to a period of 30 years in the Illinois Department of Corrections. That sentence will be served at 85% pursuant to truth in sentencing. The defendant shall receive 1,601 days of credit representing his time in custody from May 17th of 2018 up to and including October 4th of 2022. Upon release from the Department of Corrections, the defendant shall be placed on a period of three years mandatory supervised release. Given the length of the sentence, the fines, fees, and costs are gonna be waived by the court. This sentence shall be served concurrently with the sentence imposed today in count seven. As to count seven, after consideration of all the above, the court orders that in count seven of 2018 CF 103, the charge of aggravated discharge of a firearm regarding Andrew McKay, that conviction shall be entered on that plea. The def uh, defendant is hereby sentenced to a period of 30 years in the Illinois Department of Corrections. That'll be served at a rate of 85% pursuant to truth in sentencing. The defendant shall receive 1,601 days of credit representing his time in custody from May 17th of 2018 up to and including October 4th of 2022. Upon release from the Department of Corrections, the defendant shall be placed on a period of three years mandatory supervised release. Based upon the length of the sentence, the fines, fees, and court costs shall be waived by the court. This sentence shall be served concurrently with the sentence imposed today in count three. Any questions from the state regarding the sentence? Are you going to uh, order that he uh, provide a specimen for genetic marker analysis? Yes, sir. Any other questions from the state regarding the sentence? Sure. Any questions from the defendant regarding the sentence? Sure. All right. Ordered to Mr. Milby, I will tell you that you do have the right to appeal the judgment and sentence of this court. However, prior to taking an appeal, you must file in this court within 30 days of today's date a written motion asking to have the trial court reconsider the sentence or have the judgment vacated and for leave to withdraw your plea of guilty, setting forth your grounds for doing so in the motion. If that motion is allowed, the sentence will be modified or the plea of guilty, sentence, and judgment will be vacated and a trial date will be set on the charges to which the plea of guilty was made. Upon the request of the people, any charges which may have been dismissed as part of the plea agreement would be reinstated and also set for trial. You're further advised that if you are indigent, a copy of the transcript of these proceedings will be provided to you without cost, and counsel will be appointed to assist you in the preparation of these motions. In any appeal taken from the judgment on your plea of guilty, any issue or claim of error not raised in the motion to reconsider sentence or to vacate the judgment and withdraw your plea of guilty shall be deemed waived on appeal. Do you understand your appeal rights? I do. Anything else from the state? Defense? No. All right. Defense remanded. Portal stand in recess.